welcome students, families, PEOs, alumni, and friends of the college to the 136th commencement ceremony for Cotty College. While we may be miles apart, separated around the world, we come together today virtually to celebrate the graduates of this amazing institution. Graduates, this is your day. The Cotty College administration, faculty, and staff salute you and all of your amazing academic accomplishments. You are leaders, you are scholars, you are citizens of our amazing world, and we believe that you have the knowledge and the skills to take the next amazing steps in your life's journey. We believe that the resiliency, the strength, the determination and the grit that you have shown over the past weeks demonstrates just how prepared and strong you are to create your amazing, incredible futures. Now, while we regret that we cannot honor you in person, please know that you are right here on the Cotty College campus in our hearts. We applaud you, we celebrate you, and we look forward to the day that we're able to welcome you back as Cotty alumni. We were born to be comets starting across space and time, leaving our marks as we crash into everything. A crater is a reminder that something amazing happened right here, an indelible impact that shook up the world. The speaker of those words, Donovan Livingston, alumnus of Harvard, could have been talking about us here today. Cotty provided us the skills and opportunities to be comets in this crazy and ever-changing universe. We are strong, capable women with the ability to adapt to whatever life throws at us. I know most of you have made plans of some sort in your life. Now I want you to take a moment and think about a time that a plan didn't pan out. How did you feel in that moment? Frustrated, angry, confused? Well, you're not alone. I am the quintessential planner, whether in my career, softball, or relationships. When I was just six years old, I planned on becoming a veterinarian. Then I got older and I plan on becoming a doctor. Well, organic chemistry took care of that. I plan on playing all four years of softball, and I also plan on walking across that stage at graduation. Did any of this go according to plan? Of course not. But the two things I always knew I wanted were to help people and to make my family proud. Aha, I could become a lawyer and accomplish both. To go to law school, you have to take the law school admissions test or LSAT. I'm not the best standardized test taker, so I knew I'd have to study harder than I ever had before, as well as keep my grades up. So I made the hardest decision I've ever had to make. I walked away from softball. Have any of you had to walk away from something that you love? It's far from easy. And there goes yet another plan. Then senior year rolls around and I get this feeling of, uh-oh, I'm about to graduate and become a real life adult. It was then that I realized I didn't want to be a lawyer. I'm sure many of you have experienced some type of epiphany like this. Knowing that I was about to start my life made me brave enough to do what I truly wanted, law enforcement, another plan could put. I'm happy that I'm going to do what I truly want, but I was also frustrated knowing that I had squandered the opportunity to play softball, the game that had been my life for so long, serving as an escape when the world seemed chaotic. I sacrificed an entire year of the sport to take a test I don't even need anymore. However, I soon realized there were a lot of upsides to the decisions I made, including changing plans. I got work experience and made new and lasting friendships I never would have made. Even though I don't need the LSAT, I learned the value of sacrifice. When things don't go your way and plans go askew, I urge you to take a step back and look at all of the good that came from it. You'll find a lot more than you think. Then, as my life was constantly changing, I was offered a spot to come back and play softball for the last semester of my senior year. I was so excited to get a second chance to play. I'm sure most of you have had a second chance. It feels pretty great, right? So I plan to finish out my final semester playing the game I love with possibly the best team I've ever played on. Then, COVID-19 ripped this opportunity away. My teammates and I started so strong, gaining momentum as we played, only for our season to be cut short. We were at Bill Hill Lodge when we received the devastating news. We all sat in silence and cried together. And you, my classmates, also dealt with losses at the same time, losing out on international trips, sports, plays, and just the opportunity to be together. Shortly after I learned my softball career was over for good, I learned equally devastating news for all of us. We would not walk for graduation. I had been so excited for us to essentially wrap up our time at Cotty and by walking across that stage, having the physical evidence of our accomplishments, that diploma placed in our hands. It's still hard to talk about, but that's life. Life is unexpected. My life is a shining example. However, great things can come from the unexpected when we're willing to adapt. 
Some of the best people in my life have come from things I never expected I'd be doing. My life is heading in a direction I didn't necessarily plan on, but it's where I know I'm meant to be. If I wasn't willing to adapt, I'd be doing something that didn't make me happy. And what did Cotty have to do with the progression of my plans in life? Cotty provided me opportunities like softball, internships, strong and lasting friendships, the list going on and on. Think for a moment of the things that Cotty gave you. You have your own list of plans that changed trajectory. Cotty provided us the skills needed to adapt and maneuver through life so we may end up on the path best for us. COVID-19, for instance, is an experience that we all share. We all had plans that got shut down due to this pandemic, yet Cotty provided us the opportunity to adapt to this new challenge and change of trajectory. All of the skills of adaptability and opportunities provided made us not only capable of dealing with such change, but making the most of it. At Cotty College, we've learned that opportunities masquerade as challenges and resilience means adapting to new paths. Class of 2020, as Donovan Livingston so eloquently put it, we are born to be comets. Let's take everything that Cotty has provided us and go make our mark on this world. The craters we leave will be the evidence of our indelible impacts. Let's show the world the stardust we're made of because it's our time to shine. Dr. Weitzel, PEO Sisterhood, Board of Trustees, faculty and staff of Cotty College, thank you for this extraordinary honor. To the graduating class of 2020, congratulations on this amazing accomplishment. While this year has been unusual and testing, it has also proven to us that we are capable of taking on a challenging path and succeeding. There is a phrase you often hear at NASA, and that is, failure is not an option. This was first said by Gene Krantz, who was the flight director during the Apollo 13 mission. During this mission, a failure in the service module's oxygen tank caused an explosion on the way to the moon that almost cost us the lives of three astronauts. NASA scientists and engineers on the ground were forced to take on the challenge of bringing these men home under dire circumstances. But because of their hard work and dedication, they were able to work with the astronauts to overcome obstacles that at the time seemed impossible because failure to do so would have not only meant the lives of three men, but a huge setback in America's space program. This mission is often called a successful failure and succeeding missions proved that lessons learned from these missteps paved the way for better communication and safer missions. For NASA, failure is not an option. When I graduated from Cotty 10 years ago, the last place I ever imagined working was NASA. I remember driving away from Nevada after graduation with a plan that seemed as easy as breathing. I was going to finish my degree and become a sixth grade history teacher. My first day of orientation at my transfer university, I was put on a path that derailed that plan when I was told that they had decided to accept the majority of my credits as electives and I was going to need to start all over again. Feeling defeated and like I was two years behind, I eventually ended up taking some time off from school. For years, I followed what seemed to be a path to nowhere. This route had no twists or turns and I could walk it with my head down because I knew that there was no excitement ahead. I worked jobs for which I had little passion and I really had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Little did I know, that this course was leading me to a moment that would change the direction I was heading. A moment when I remembered the strength I had acquired from my time at Cotty, stepped off my safe, boring path, and decide that it was time to finish my degree. This first step in a new direction eventually delivered me to an opportunity that would change my life when I took a chance at applying for an internship at NASA. I remember getting the email that I had been accepted and feeling like I was starting a whole new journey. Every day on this new path was exciting and brought experiences that I would have never dreamed possible. This path was definitely not an easy one. It had sudden turns and bumps that I had to push myself through. I remember thinking after the first week of my internship that they had made a huge mistake in choosing me and there was no way I could succeed. However, as weeks progressed, I started to find my bearings and eventually fell in love with the NASA culture. Still, there were many times I'd looked back at that safe, boring path and I, that I had left and wondered if maybe that's where I really belonged. Eventually, after two internships, 
I came across a job posting for a contract company working with NASA's Office of STEM Engagement. As I applied for the job, I continued to wonder if I was really going in the right direction. This world that I wanted to live in every day was full of science, engineering, technology, math, and none of these were my strong suit. I was worried how my non-STEM background would work long-term in this very technical world. But I refused to give up. I knew I had found a place that I was excited to go to every day, a place that made me proud of myself and the work I was doing. I can now say, after being in this world for almost three years, that I have a moment every day where I realize that my background and the twists and turns I have taken bring a new perspective to my team and that pushing through my self-doubt was the best decision I ever made because I realized for me, failure is not an option. You are on a path that past and future graduates will never understand. Not only have you navigated the twists and turns that all college students face, but you've also traversed mountains and figuring out how to study remotely from the cloudy life that we all love so dearly and descended in the valleys as you watched world events take away your traditions and senior trip. And yet here you are, at commencement. You have succeeded. Recognize that commencement is not the end, it is the beginning. While it may be the end of your Cotty path with its close-knit community, caring professors, and Sunday brunches that you will still dream about 10 years later, you are stepping onto a new and exciting path. When you look back on your time at Cotty, try not to think about what you lost in your last semester, and instead, choose to remember that Cotty helped you learn to overcome any obstacle that you may come across. Because with Cotty comes sisterhood, self-growth, and an empowerment that only another Cotty sister would understand. And these are tools you can use as you navigate your new course. Continue to embrace the challenges. You may have missteps, and your direction won't always be obvious, but I know in the end you will succeed because for a Cotty grad, failure is not an option. Congratulations again, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you. We are now ready to begin conferring the degrees. I invite Dr. Joanne Bangs, Vice President for Academic Affairs to the podium. Seniors, wherever you are, are you ready to receive your degree? Will the candidates for the Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Arts Music degree, Associate in Fine Arts degree, and Associate in Science degree please rise? Friends and families, please encourage your senior to actually stand. President Weitzel, those Cotty seniors standing across the country and around the world have successfully completed or will complete the course of study prescribed by the faculty of Cotty College for the Associate in Arts degree, the Associate in Arts Music degree, the Associate in Fine Arts degree, or the Associate in Science degree, and I present them to you for the conferring of the degrees. By the power and authority vested in me by the Cotty College Board of Trustees, and upon recommendation by the faculty and approval by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the Associate in Arts degree, Associate in Arts Music degree, Associate in Fine Arts degree or the Associate in Science degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. You may be seated. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree and the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? Friends and families, please encourage your seniors to stand. President Weitzel, those Cotty seniors standing across the country and around the world have successfully completed or will complete the course of study prescribed by the faculty of Cotty College for the Bachelor of Arts degree or the Bachelor of Science degree, and I present them to you for the conferring of the degrees. By the power and authority vested in me by the Cotty College Board of Trustees, and upon recommendation by the faculty and approval by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the Bachelor of Arts degree or the Bachelor of Science degree with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. You may be seated. Congratulations, students. Congratulations.
I want to thank my friends and family for supporting me during my time here at Cotty College, especially my mom, my dad, and my aunt Amy. Thank you Chapter D, Chapter FY for supporting me throughout my academic endeavors here at Cotty. Also to Chapter C for the lay and as well as my professors. Thank you all so much. Hi Cotty, thank you so much for the opportunities that you have presented upon me and thank you so much for the degree and thank you to everybody who has helped me pursue this degree. For what it's worth, it's never too late to be whoever you want to be. I hope you live a life you're proud of, and if not, I hope you find the strength to start over. Good luck in all your future endeavors. Hi, my name is Olivia Ortiz and I am receiving my Associates of Science. I would like to thank my parents and the PEO Sisterhood for helping and supporting me through all my academic endeavors. I am so excited to be getting my Associates in Science today. I would like to thank my family for supporting me and my friends for being there for me. Class of 2020, we did it.
to my friends, professors, PEOs, host parents, and most importantly, my sisters, brother, and mom and dad. Thank you so much for all your support. We did it. We did it. Hi, my name is Yasmin Jua, now with a BA in Criminology. I am very thankful to my family and friends for sticking with me. I love you all. A big thank you to my family, especially my parents. I would not be here today without you guys. Also, shout out to my professors. You guys are awesome. Hello, graduates. During this generational pandemic, the PEO Sisterhood is holding the Cotty family in our thoughts and prayers. I am Brenda Atchison, president of International Chapter of the PEO Sisterhood, the proud owners of Cotty College since 1927. Bringing together over half a million women throughout the United States and Canada, PEO is the only women's organization that owns a women's college. And we're very proud of that legacy and of Cotty. On behalf of the PEO Sisterhood, congratulations to the Cotty graduates of 2020. 
As a proud Cotty mom myself, I have witnessed the strong foundation and education at Cotty College provided for each of our two daughters, a foundation to build their legacies upon through self-confidence, lasting friendships of outstanding Cotty women, and as independent women who could see the possibilities for their lives. Today is a new day, a new day for you and to build your legacy as a graduate of Cotty College. Now is the time to step out into this large and ever-changing world, knowing that Cotty will forever be a part of your legacy and incredible future. Stay connected with each other, with Cotty, and with PEO. We want you to be a part of our membership legacy. PEOs everywhere exclaim to each of you, congratulations. Congratulations to each of our graduates and to your family and your friends who have supported you and cheered you on in your accomplishment. I share your disappointment that we can't be together in person for your celebration, but I hope that this virtual event will be meaningful just know that you will be back to walk on those senior sidewalks. As Melinda Gates put it, a woman with a voice is by definition a strong woman. But the search to find that voice can be remarkably difficult. Cotty women find their voices, learn the importance of using them, and are not afraid to use them. You and I have received this valuable gift and are now part of a legacy of thousands of Cotty women and those who Cotty women have touched. Now you have the opportunity to build on that legacy by helping other women. I hope you do. A Cotty woman is distinctive in many ways. I hope that you will be distinctive in your focus on improving the lives of women everywhere. And be like that stone that is skipped across the pond to cause many ripples. The world needs more engaged Cotty women. Inspire other women to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more. You are a leader in your own life and in the lives of others. You are a proud Cotty woman. May all of your dreams bloom like daisies in the sun. May you always have stars in your eyes. May you not stop running, not until your race is won. May you always have blue skies. A dream is something all your own to keep within your heart, to build on when you're glad or when your world's been torn apart. A dream is something all your own that no one else can steal. A dream is something you can make come real. May all of your dreams bloom like daisies in the sun. May you always have stars in your eyes. May you not stop running, not until your race is won. May you always have blue skies. Now you can share a laugh with any stranger you may meet. And you can share your money with a beggar on the street. But you can only share a dream when love has set it free. So please won't you share yours with me. May all of your dreams bloom like daisies in the sun. May you always have stars in your eyes. May you not stop running, not until your race is run. May you always have blue skies. May you always have blue skies. If we share this walk together, nothing can stand in our way. 
If we share this walk together, we can share the love and the pain. Life can be a challenge, but in our hearts you'll find a helping hand, someone to understand, a voice that's always kind. If we share this walk together, nothing can stand in our way. If we share this walk together, we can share the love and the pain. Graduates, we are extremely proud of your accomplishments in the midst of this challenging season. We pray and invite the presence of our blessed creator, God, spirit, and sustainer to shine upon you all. May you open your hearts and minds as we ask God to walk with you in your new graduation experience, knowing that you are never alone in your vocations. May you be grounded in your dreams and visions with confidence and unshakable expectations. Thank you, God, for Cotty College, staff and faculty that have given of themselves to help you succeed through their new teaching and mentoring skills, opening doors for your achievements. May God continue to illuminate you as you celebrate your humbled blessings with positive visions towards your diverse departures and destinies as global servant leaders. In your name I say, Amen. <laughs>